The CEO of the North Australian Indigenous Land and Sea Management Alliance, Joe Morrison, says there may be a role for Indigenous Australians to play in helping to decrease the threat of fire and fire damage in regional Australia. We, we know that there's a disconnect between people actively managing fire in, right around the country and uh, the ability to then suppress it later on. And if you're not actively managing it and uh, reducing fuel loads and, and taking a responsible approach to uh, managing country, then you, know, you end up with these uh, huge events that are regularly occurring in the south. In the Northern Territory, controlled fires are used to harvest the land and to avoid major wildfires. We've had a situation for uh, right around the country for about 100 years where people were removed out of the landscape and fire was seen to be a bad thing. And I just think that we need to return to the days of uh, actively managing fire and seeing fire as a good thing. Although traditional fire management techniques are practised elsewhere in Australia, it's the southeastern part of the continent that is affected by major blazes on a regular basis. When uh, settlers arrived in Australia, particularly here in the south, uh, they referred to many of these places in the south as gentlemen's parks, but these were managed landscapes managed by Aboriginal people so they could hunt and they can uh, access their sacred sites. Joe Morrison says Aboriginal people have a wealth of knowledge of fire and land management that is currently being underutilised. And I'd be interested to see if there's opportunities for Aboriginal people who are managing fire to come down and talk and, and share that knowledge with uh, some of the fire practitioners and some of the land managers down here in the south. Ryan Little, NITV News.